Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be monitoring latency. This is something that I generally do after I do an upgrade or install something new or switch something around. Um, and I'm going to be using latency mon. Uh, just Google that, latency M-O-N. And uh, yeah, let's uh, pop this open. And this is what it looks like. I have Ableton on the left. And uh, I'm just going to start running this. And I'm going to use the time to explain what would cause uh, an audio dropout or a crack or a popple, a popple or a crackle or a pop. Um, basically what happens is things are, in the driver sense of the word, things are processed sequentially. And when something takes the priority, like, for example, uh, a wireless card, an interrupt occurs and then that will interrupt say your audio or something else and that'll take the priority and uh, when that happens if it doesn't get back to the audio in time the actual CPU or whatever then you get a dropout or a crackle um, and they could be really annoying um, and yeah it's been kind of a nightmare ever since I kind of started doing what I'm doing um, and yeah, we can me we can use this program to measure and detect um, the uh, you know the current measured interrupt process, and it you know takes it let's say eighteen twenty microseconds, which is barely even it doesn't even register on here uh, the highest uh, measured interrupt, which is one hundred seventy eight microseconds so far, and uh, what drivers. Uh, could be causing problems. Now, this is usually, you know, the the graphics kernel that usually is like the highest, like the most intensive thing in your system anyway. And uh, yeah, the highest time uh, that it takes for it to go back to audio. And that's a very, very kind of minuscule uh, compared to what I was used to. And what kind of fixed it is uh, I switched to Windows 10 from Windows 8.1. Windows 8.1, it would kind of basically freak out if, say, I switched a USB port from like uh, like machine or push or the virus. If I like switched them around or moved a USB port, it would get very angry and that would cause like spikes in latency so what i would have to do is i would have to completely reformat and uh install things physically one at a time and never unplug them or switch them around or else things would stop working uh, mind you as i'm doing this i have a usb mic i have a firewire card I have push on and open, I have the virus, I have a HD webcam that you can see my silly face, I have OBS and I have like weird audio repeaters going on, and uh, yeah, there's barely, oh, there, there was a big one, uh, there's barely any, um, you know, red, if you're green, you're good to go, let's uh, turn this on, it's basically, you know, you're going to want to play audio, and uh, you want to have that going uh, to kind of measure and see what's going on here. And there's basically no change. Um, oh, there's a little hard page fault. I believe that would be OBS. That doesn't necessarily cause dropouts. That's uh, something to do with your virtual memory or your when whatever it's called when your uh, when your computer uses one of your hard drives as RAM. Um, yeah, that's not that's not something that would affect any kind of data bus. It doesn't really do that or whatever, but it can cause, you know, dropouts with audio uh being read from the drive, but you know, generally there's enough of a buffer in Ableton that, you know, you don't have to worry about that. Uh so yeah, this is this sort of thing right going on right here. Um not getting any redness, so I'll stop it. Uh, typically, I'd have this running for a, a while, um, 
and like work on a set, uh, work on a track and, you know, or I would have basically, uh, what I used to do is I would have the virus. I would just have a sine wave running the entire time, uh, through the virus, um, with, uh, uh, the CP, uh, CPU load, um, emulator or not emulator, the test tone and uh, CPU usage simulator. Yeah, let's just turn that on just for fun as well. You know, I don't know what's going on there. I'm running uh, 256 samples. I usually record at that rate, but when I'm tracking, I do uh, 512. Um, if you are getting crackles and pops and stuff like that, it's probably because your buffer size is a little too low. So increase it. Um, and that should uh, fix it up uh, right quick. Um, and you can do that in your, your hardware setup. It depends on what you what uh, you're using. I'm using a uh, Focusrite. What am I using? Uh, Pro Forty. Yeah, you just go. Uh, you set your ASIO buffer size two fifty six. I go. Yeah, you go. I go five twelve, two fifty six, uh, and like one twenty eight. If you know, I'm really getting in there. But you can kind of uh, select select one and then use your test tone and uh, bring the cpu usage up and if you don't hear any crackles then that's good if you do uh then you need to raise it anyway yeah and um latency you know when you're dealing like single digit uh milliseconds it's not that bad at all all right let's uh close that guy all right, so we'll go to stats, and this is basically, you know, something you can uh, copy, paste, and post. It gives you basically a rundown of uh, what you're rocking here, you know. I got a very unique uh, computer name, I don't know, whatever. You know, Windows, Windows 8, 6.2. It's not entirely true, it's Windows 10. Um, I don't know why it says that. Kind of weird. Anyway, um, you know, X99E uh, workstation, uh, 5960X CPU, uh, you know, 16 processors, processor grid, yeah, yeah, 16 gigabytes of RAM, my uh, CPU speed, and uh, it'll show, you know, the highest latency, you know, anything below a thousand is good, right? Um, depending on what you're running. Uh, yeah, and there's all that, blah, 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 blah. So what you do is you go to drivers and you select highest execution right here and you'll sort by highest execution. And uh, these are far below uh, one. Uh, anything above one is kind of, eh. But uh, yeah, usually... Um, it's the uh, kernel and stuff like that, DirectX. These are things that, you know, the computer uses to output stuff, I believe. I'm not really sure, but it's like an important thing that your video card and everything, it's a thing in Windows. That's all you got to know. Um, but yeah, you have uh, my Virus TI uh, driver here. And uh, so say, yeah, and here's my uh, USB webcam. And you can see all your drivers and uh, what their uh, their their highest execution is, uh, and their you know how many interrupts they've made. So if you have one that's like a problem, like okay, let's see which one would be a problem. Uh, oh yeah, the thirteen ninety four. This is my FireWire. So no dropouts here. So I'm using FireWire for my Pro Forty, and. Uh, if the FireWire was, you know, giving issues or causing its own latency, which doesn't make sense to me right now. Anyway, my U my UAD, everything seems to be working great. Um, I used to have a problem with the... No, I don't. So say if I have, I have a USB 3 hub, I have one in there, um, and I'm not sure what's plugged into it, but I have a USB 3 hub uh, connected to the PCI. If that was causing massive interrupts, I would take it and throw it out the window. Or if it's something that's like 
on your motherboard if it's like the PCH or whatever, or uh, a, a controller that talks to you know multiple drives or like a RAID controller or whatever, I would investigate that, and uh, I would update the drivers. Number one, update your drivers. Update your BIOS or EUFI, EUFI. and you get that from your motherboard uh, download page for whatever manufacturer you have. Um, update your video card. Um, and if you still have problems, um, then you need to do, you know, even more investigations, um, or kind of see what's going on. You, Windows 10 is pretty good in terms of, you know, I've, I haven't had, I haven't had barely, I've barely any problems. The only problem is, is that it, it, it automatically uh, updated some things and there's no way to turn that off and it blew up and things like would constantly start crashing like hard locks and st stuff like that so i had like i reinstalled reformatted and i disabled updates in the, the services menu which i might do a video on that um yeah so pretty much uh, this is a uh, latency monitor. It's a good, good thing to have running, because you don't want you know this, this you know, it, periodic little crackles and drop dropouts really bother me. I don't know why. It just it, it lets me know that something is wrong. Um, and if I'm you know doing videos, and doing audio, and using a microphone that's USB, and everything has to kind of work you know, harmoniously. If that doesn't happen, then, you know, the, the world kind of falls apart. Anyway, I uh, hope you learned stuff. Uh, you get it at uh, resplendence.com. Just look up latency mon, all one word. It's free, and uh, yeah. Uh, take care, and have a good